It was a 4.4 earthquake and it hit about 625 this morning, centered in the Sepulveda Pass near the 405 and Mulholland. We have live team coverage. CBS 2's Louisa Hodge is talking to USGS experts. First, Cara Finstrom joins us live from Tarzana with new reaction and video of the quake. Cara? Well, there was a whole lot of shaking going on inside of this chandelier shop this morning. The owners tell us when they arrived this morning, they found pieces of crystal and glass on the floor throughout the store. Fortunately for them, they say there was no major damage, just a lot of swing. That's funny. It, it is funny. Whoa, oh, oh. an earthquake. Big earthquake, big earthquake right now. Big earthquake. This morning's quake gave our anchors in Studio City a jolt. A shaker yeah, right it's now. Very big. You can tell we got. That's a, a strong CBS jolt, and it's still graph right now. This is a quite a jolt. And in Santa Monica, CBS News correspondent Carter Evans had his baby cam recording when his son woke up to his first shaker. All across the Southland, Angelinos reported feeling the wake-up call, but it appears to have been especially strong in the West Side and San Fernando Valley. It was like a few seconds, but it was really strong. You know, it's like like somebody shaking like that. You know? yeah. Hamid Rosalon said bottles and merchandise fell off the shelves of his Encino market. And in Westwood, one student studying for finals in these apartments told us his priorities suddenly shifted. The table started moving really quickly. Some pens and cups fell off the table. Immediately, all my roommates jumped under the table. Across the street, construction workers watched as this crane swayed back and forth, but tell us nobody was near it at the time. Not far away, Battalion Chief Antoine McKnight jumped into action. Uh, upstairs in the uh, battalion office, and uh, we felt a big jolt and some swaying, and immediately again, we got all our apparatus and exit the station. McKnight and his crews patrolled area neighborhoods and found no damage. In Marina Del Rey, where St. Patty's Day revelers had just gotten an early start in a local pub, firefighter Eugene Andrews, who was across the street, rushed over to make sure their luck had held up. But then it just kind of picked up and it just kind of rolled back and forth. And I was watching the wires and it did kind of shake a little bit, but it wasn't like a, a major one. I and everywhere we've gone this morning, the same report from residents. No major damage, no significant damage, just a little bit of cleanup in some of these shops and a few rattled nerves. Reporting live here in Tarzana, Cara Finstrom, CBS 2 News. All right.